Arranging a song used to be the number one thing that I struggled with as a songwriter. And then I literally found a song arrangement cheat code that even the most beginner producers can use. And that arrangement cheat code is what I'm going to show you in today's video. So if you ever struggle with turning your loops into a full length song or simply making an arrangement that's actually interesting, watch this entire video from beginning to end. And I guarantee that if you do that, your arrangements will come out sounding at least 20% better by the end of this video. Okay, so the secret to arranging a song is to start with a vocal acapella. This acapella sounds like this. How do I say this? I've been here waiting, just laying in my bed hoping you would call me up. I have this full length vocal acapella from my new vocal acapella pack that is not yet complete, but in the meantime, you can demo this vocal for free. It's in the description of this video. Stay tuned for the full release of this acapella pack. You do not want to miss it. The magic of using a full length acapella like this is that it's already arranged. So all we have to do is follow the structure of the vocal and the song pretty much arranges itself. Watch me arrange a song in the easiest way possible. First thing I'm going to do is start with a set of chords. I'm going to make a four bar loop. I'm going to use the Spitfire Audio Soft Piano. It's a free piano plugin. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and write a set of chords that harmonizes well with our vocal. This will take you some trial and error to come up with a set of chords that you really like. When I'm harmonizing, I always start with the bass note of the chords and just see if they work before I waste my time building the whole chord. How do I say this? I've been here waiting. Just yeah, yeah, they work. So I'm gonna take these, pull them up a whole fifth. I'm gonna add some extra notes to make these chords mine. And I'm gonna extend them by four more bars. I feel like it'll follow the vocal more. So for this acapella, I use these chords. How do I say this? I've been here waiting, just laying in my bed, hoping you would call me up. Uh huh. That is electric. So when you come up with a set of chords that makes you feel that good, the magic of using this acapella is that the song's already arranged. We just didn't write it yet. Here's what I mean. Every vocal acapella has about three sections before the song repeats. Our vocal has a verse, a pre-chorus, which is right here, and then a chorus or a hook. I'm going to color code these to help us out. So the verse to the pre-chorus is usually a subtle change. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do there. And then the chorus is usually a bit bigger of a change in your arrangement. So let's go ahead and go to work here. The energy of the vocal increases in the chorus. I played it up in my head. You just like you said. I got ahead of myself thinking you were since the energy increases in the vocal, I'm gonna match the energy with my instrumental by increasing the energy of these chords. So I'm gonna duplicate them and put them down here on another instance of the lab soft piano. But this time, this soft piano has a bit more reverb. I'm gonna show you a cool piano layering trick. Here's what the piano just sounds like on its own with more reverb. But when you're layering piano, you can get a way prettier sound. If you take the same chord notes, I'm gonna take the leading notes and put them up a whole octave. And we get this, but if we take that with our main piano now, you get that heavenly sound that is a heavenly piano sound right there so if you're feeling really confident in your production skills 
we can layer this piano again and make it even more vibrant. So I'm gonna take the main chords, and I'm gonna drop them on to a synth sound. This is a very basic synth sound that you can find in most synths. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of heavy reverb on it. The Hala Vintage Verb is a very heavy reverb. <laughs> now let's listen to the energy shift from this piano to this piano. Wow, that is heaven. Okay, so now we have two sections. We have our verse and pre-chorus, and then we increase the energy for the hook. There's another section here that we didn't energy match yet. This is all about energy matching our instrumental to that vocal. From the verse to the pre-chorus is a subtle change. So I'm gonna do a subtle change from here to here. I'm gonna do that with drums. All right, I went and got some drums. So I'm going to give us a, make a little house beat. I got this little tom here. I'm going to make a nice chill, relaxed rhythm with it. It'll act as a little bass. Because we're in the intro of the song, I'm going to add an EQ and take away some of the kick because we don't need all the kick. I have this very relaxed snare. I'm going to put one of these on every other kick. And then our drum beat will sound like this. All I'm going to do to energy match this vocal is put that snare under the pre-chorus. I also added a couple other perks just to emphasize that snare. So now our transition from verse to pre-chorus sounds like this. Laying in my bed hoping you Okay, so now we have a big section here, a big section here, and we're due for one more big change, and that's right over here when the vocal takes a break. So after the chorus, your song's going to do one of two things. It's either going to go back into the next verse, or you're going to go into a drop. I'm an EDM guy, so I'm going to go into a drop. All right, so to start my drop, I'm just going to take these drums and move them over to here. I'm gonna take the same kick, but I'm gonna open it all the way up. So I'm gonna get rid of this EQ that we had in the intro. So now we have a nice big kick. I'm gonna take our main chords, add them to a new instrument. I heard a song by Petite Biscuit and he used the coolest mellow synth sound that I've been dying to steal. So let's go ahead and try to remake it. the wrong wave I'm gonna make another oscillator I'm gonna point to the right ear now the synth is gonna get weird we just put this side up an octave <laughs> that's strange that is a strange sound I love it let's add some new harmonics to emphasize the drop chords I added some RC20 to add some noise to these chords. Here's it without the RC20. Now here it is with RC20. So it kind of detuned them and added some wobble. And then the noise is making them all fuzzy. It's going to enhance them a little bit. Also, I'm going to take Shaper Box 2 and add some ducking to them. Ah, uh, yeah! We need a bass now for the drop, right? So where do we go for bass? Bottom of the chords. I have this bass sound, it sounds like this. We have to separate the drums in this drop 
from the drums in this intro. I need the drums in the drop to be stronger than the intro drums because remember, we're matching energies of that vocal acapella. The drop is when everything has to get loud and big. Let's keep adding to it. I got this hi-hat. That's gonna go in between each kick. And here's our original snare. That doesn't carry a lot of weight, so I got some more layers that we could use to enhance it. Like this big snap. Now I have this weird sounding thing here, and I'm just gonna put it before every other snap. Uh huh, just like that. Now we have some drop drums that sound more like drop drums. So once we have our three main sections laid out, the song's practically done. All you do from here now is take these sections, copy and paste them, and they will automatically line up with the rest of the vocal. But before I copy and paste my sections, I like to add transitions and little atmospheric effects just to make them sound as good as they can. I added this gorgeous atmosphere here, it floats over the piano. Game over. I added some transitions to connect the sections together. So I'm gonna play this back for you. But now I feel stupid that I trusted all the words that came from your lips. Got me feeling like I lost my mind again. I played it up in my head. You just like you said. I got a head. that mellow drop really worked well with everything so yeah i'm pretty proud of that stay tuned over the next couple weeks with me so you can get the rest of this vocal when i drop the full vocal pack thanks for watching guys